Happy Thanksgiving. I'd rather be home eating pumpkin pie, but we got a cow that's not feeling so hot. So I'm gonna pump her stomach with some pump mix right here. Give us some calcium minerals that our body needs. And uh, I'm gonna show you what's up with that. Kind of like a big batch of Gatorade Frost. A lot of people are nervous about pumping a cow, but if you have the right tool for the job, it's nothing to be nervous about. If you get one of these, it's very hard to put this into a cow's lungs. It goes right where it belongs. As long as you know how to use it. Let's go find our patient. Main thing you want is the cow properly restrained. Sometimes they cooperate, sometimes they don't. You want the neck to stay straight. Allow the probe to go down. You never force something like this in. You kind of put it in her mouth and let her swallow it. And we'll go right into place. We'll go right into place. There we go. So a clip. We'll hold it where it belongs in her nose. And you pump nice, slow, even strokes. If you go too fast, you can splash out and splash down into our lungs. My old vet told me pumping a cow is like making love, nice and slow and steady. What do you think, girl? She's down with it. <laughs> you can see the cow's not in distress at all. She'd probably rather not have that thing in her mouth, but. Yeah, she's good. She's getting their medicine. It's always about what's best for the cow.
It's almost done. We're getting there, boy. Just having our Thanksgiving dinner. Usually you want to do a couple more strokes after the bucket's empty, clear the lines. That's it. Nice. Now remove the probe. Which is good. Yeah, she's good. That's how you do it. Happy Thanksgiving.